So, you thinking about moving to Slidell, Louisiana? Well, that just so happens to be where we are for today's video, guys. We're going to be doing a little bit of a vlog tour showing you three different homes and three different price ranges so you know what fits in your budget. By the way, make sure you stay tuned for the third house because it's $975,000 and is on the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. You don't want to miss that one. When are we getting started, Natalie? Right now. If we haven't met before, I'm Natalie and my partner Carson and I are real estate agents with Wycord Realtors Lowshore Properties and we love helping people just like you with the process of buying and selling real estate. If you're looking to sell your home, we could help you sell it or buy it ourselves. Or if you're looking to relocate, whether it be in the next nine days or the next 90 days, the first step is reaching out to us. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom call with us so we can help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. So like I said, we are doing a little bit of a vlog tour of Slidell today. So what you should know about Slidell is it is one of the cities on the North shore of Lake Pontchartrain. It's sort of east, I'll show you on the map right here. And uh, Mandeville, Madisonville, Covington, where we're from is right off the causeway coming straight from uh, New Orleans and Metairie, but Slidell um, to New Orleans, you're going to take a different path. You wouldn't go to the causeway, you'd take the twin span actually. And um, but anyway, Slidell's got about 30,000 in population, which is pretty much Mandeville, Madisonville, and Covington all put together. So it's quite a I mean, really, it's not the biggest city in the world by any means. You know, we don't have big cities in South Louisiana, but compared to Mandeville, Madisonville, Covington, it's rather large. So we are doing a full blown pros and cons video of the city, so I'm not going to go in depth, but I'll give you a few pros and cons just so you know kind of what Slidell is about. But it's actually pretty cheap. Cost of living is pretty low as far as real estate goes. It is in St. Tammany Parish where things are usually running about 150 to 170 per square foot. In the last 30 days, all the homes in Slidell sold for an average of 141 per square foot. Now that might not seem like the biggest difference in the world, but we're talking for a 2,000 square foot home, be $282,000 in Slidell if we take that 141 number. And then if we do 170, which is about, you know, Mandeville, Madisonville, Covington, 170 about, the price for a 2,000 square foot home in that area would be about 342. So we're talking a $60,000 difference for a 2,000 square foot home. And one of the cons is gonna be that crime is getting to be a little bit of an issue in Slidell. It didn't always used to be like that, but as of late, it's starting to pick up. And um, you know, but it's nothing to compare to New Orleans or Baton Rouge. Those have, you know, higher populations and you know, police are a little bit understaffed. And so New Orleans and Baton Rouge, whole different scenario, tons of crime. I talk about it in some of our other videos. That is an issue. I wouldn't lie to you guys. I want you to be informed and educated before you make your move here. But Slidell does have a little bit of a crime issue, but definitely nothing to compare to New Orleans. Okay, so keep that in mind. But now that you know a little bit more about Slidell, I say we go check out our first home in our first price range. I'll see you guys there. So the first house I wanted to show you guys today is in a subdivision called Tanglewood. Tanglewood is a bigger subdivision, you know, hundreds of homes. And this house is at the back of the subdivision. So you kind of, you're in a peaceful area. You're tucked away back at the end of the subdivision. You know what I mean? So this is a three bed, two bath, 1,850 square foot home. We're right here, guys. It's listed at $250,000. So we're about $135 per square foot. Inside needs a little bit of work, but it's in really good shape, I would say, for that price. 135 per square foot ain't bad. And another thing about this location is you're right next to Gauze, Gauze Boulevard. That's the one of the main service roads of Slidell. So you're shopping, restaurants, everything you need to do not that far away we're talking five minutes but yeah let's get some shots of the neighborhood and then I'll send you over to Natalie so we can check out that second house Hey 
guys, here we are in Slidell in our second home in our second price range. Um, this is a new construction build. Um, it's Acadian style. It's really cute. It's listed at $488,000. It's 2252 square foot, which leaves it at about $216 per square foot. It's got three bed, three and a half bath, which is really cool that each bedroom has its own bathroom. So um, if, if you like to have lots of bathrooms, but um, this house is, uh, it's got dark wood floors. It's got lots of natural lighting coming throughout the house. The master bedroom closet is really big and spacious. The bathroom has um, a shower that's like not fully closed in, which is really cool. I like that. You just feel less like closed in. Um, the the bathtub is really cute, it's big. This house is a really cool, cute find. It's walking distance from restaurants, um, and it's this one right here, from restaurants and shopping centers. It's in a X flood zone, which is really good for Slidell because there's a lot of areas in Slidell that are A flood zones, which you know, make sure flood insurance go up. So this house, it's, got, it's also got tall ceilings, which is nice. It's open floor pan and very spacious. So this is um, a nice house here in Slidell. So this is house number three, guys. This is actually one of mine and Natalie's pocket listings here in Slidell. It's actually in a subdivision called Regalay Estates. This is a waterfront property, guys, and I can't wait to show you the backyard. Let's go check it out. All right, so let's check it out. Let's see what all we got back here. So you'll see the shaded patio area, lots of space for entertaining, little bar area too. And of course, we got the pool in the backyard. And if you walk this way, Let's see that not only is there a boat dock, there's a boat lift. And um, let's go check out upstairs so that we can get a better view of that water. Isn't this paradise, guys? This house is a three bed, three bath. It's 3,000 square foot. Although if you were to count the lower level of the house, it would be about 6,000 square foot. Um, just because the appraisers aren't gonna count that square footage in the home, it's um, only considered 3,000. But even some of the lower area is air conditioned and, um, and then some areas of it has uh, extra storage room and a gym. And it's definitely usable space just because the house has to be elevated. It doesn't count as square footage of the actual house. They do want 975,000 for it. Um, but just remember, just because that bottom square footage area isn't included in the square foot that the appraiser is going to measure, then you might have to pay a little bit out of pocket cash because it um, is not going to appraise for quite that much most likely just since the bottom area isn't included. The owners weren't home today so we weren't able to go and uh, show you all the inside of it but just take my word for it it's beautiful. I wish we could show you guys the inside today but unfortunately we cannot. Nobody's home but I did want to say that uh, I got made fun of whenever we were doing the open house for this house I decided that my favorite part is the office. The office they have in this house is just like, it's my perfect office. It's my vision of what an office is supposed to be. And I don't know what it was about it, but it was better than all the other features. It was better than the boat lift and the boat dock. And maybe I'm crazy for that. All right, let's get some shots of the neighborhood so you can see what the rest of Regalay Estates looks like. And then uh, we'll go find a coffee shop or something so we can give you guys your market report. So I decided what better place to do our market report than the wine garden. Guys, this is the best bar in Slido, I'm telling you. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Natalie, tell us what you're drinking today. 
I'm drinking an orange juice Malibu Grenadine, and we also call it an OMG. An OMG. And I've got myself some red wine, always. Cabernet, that's what I drink anywhere and everywhere we go. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Market report. So tell us, Natalie, how many homes are there listed on the market right now in Slidell? There's 303 homes listed on the market, with the median home being a four bed, two bath, 2166 square feet, and it's listed at $310,000. And what's the price per square foot right now for those active listings? The price per square foot will be $147 per square foot. $147. But anyways, for reference guys, Mandeville, Madisonville, and Covington right now have a median price per square foot of $188. $40 difference between Slidell and the rest of the North Shore. That's a pretty significant difference. Slidell, like I've told you guys, Slidell is cheap. Now at the beginning of the video, I did give you that 170 figure for price per square foot in Mandeville, Madisonville and Covington, but that is just talking about the sold homes. What we've been used to for a little bit of time was the 170 number, but guys, the listed homes, they're being listed at 188 right now. Markets are changing, prices still seem to be going up. Now, is everyone gonna get the 188 they're asking? No, definitely not. There's gonna be price reductions. There's some people that are gonna get over asking, you know, but the median price per square foot is 188. In Slidell, it's 147. So let's talk about appreciation. Natalie, help us out. How, how much has the Slidell market appreciated in the last three years? Three years ago, the price per square foot of a house was 106 compared to the 140s it is now. So if you would have bought a house for $200,000 three years ago, it'd be worth $265,000 now. Wow. So you mean to tell me that if I buy a home now that I could possibly walk into $60,000 worth of equity in just three years? Possibly. It is true, it could happen, but guys, full disclaimer, no one really knows what's gonna happen with the real estate market. I'm not telling you that if you buy real estate now that you're gonna walk away with tens of thousands of dollars in three years, although it is likely. A lot of people think that the real estate market is gonna crash. My opinion differs a little bit. I really don't think there's a reason for the real estate market to crash. If we look at what happened in 2008, it ended up being a problem of, of too many loans being given out to people who really couldn't afford them. There wasn't the strict uh, process and procedures and systems that the lenders have nowadays to use to, to verify, to qualify people for loans. But like I always say, don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. You see, with appreciation, real estate does this over time. It does this in the short term, but it does this in the long term. Real estate always goes up. It just might take some time to realize your gains. But I mean, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something about Slidell. I hope you know more about the city. You know about what the homes look like. You know what the wine bar looks like. I hope you learned something. And guys, if you are looking to relocate to the city or if you just have any questions about anything we said in the video, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom call with us. Do what you gotta do to get in touch with us. And we're here to help you with your smooth move to South Louisiana. But other than that, like, subscribe, tap the notification bell as well and see, see you around, around town, town.